Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Now, I've already talked to you when we did our Degrassi special in, in Toronto. Yes. And you're from Vancouver originally. Same as you. Yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> is that you, you've moved out to Toronto now, have you? Um, I moved out a few years ago. Yeah. And what do you think of Toronto? What's it like? Do you like it? I like it. Yeah. It's not as beautiful as Vancouver, but it's more fun. What about you? Are you from Toronto originally? I'm Bill? from Toronto. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Just born and raised, I guess you could say. Yeah. Now, how long have you been doing the show now? Uh, I guess this will be about my third season, fourth season. Yeah. Right. Uh, since the, since the inception of Degrassi Junior High, I've been on it. Okay. Since we all started. Right. Yeah. What's it like now? Is it old hat now for both of you after th after all these seasons? No. Second it's, nature. It's still fun, and yeah. it, it's still hard work. It's right. it's always a new experience. You can't always say it's it's another day at the office type thing where it's. You do one thing and you do it again and again. You always get new lines and you're always having different things to do. Right. And it's a, it's a different experience every time. What's happened to your characters over the season? How have they changed? I get a brief overview of your characters Ooh. for the people who... Um, Melanie's getting Melanie. a little older. Well, she's, that happens. Uh, That's yeah, okay. that, you know, you go high school, you get a little older. Yeah. She's become less flighty. She used to really sort of be out there floating and yeah. she sort of settled down a little more. She's got her priorities straight. And right. In the last episode, she was I, she was talking to a friend about boys. Is now is oh, Melanie? Her favorite topic. Is Melanie going to get some steady steady guy at no, the Grassy High? She's no, she's still a lonely woman. Is she? Oh, sad. It is sad. Yeah. How about Shane? How's Shane doing? Oh, Shane's uh, at the end of the last season on Grassy Junior High. He uh, he had an unfortunate accident, and he's going through rehabilitation. Right. Half um, along the course of the um, the season in high school, so he comes back at the end of the high school season. So he's just going. Getting better. And is, does My he still is see Spike better. at all? Uh, well, or is that you have to that watch to see what happens okay. when he comes back. But all right. Uh, yeah, he's a different guy. He's a different guy. He's changed. He's a different kind of guy. Okay. We have uh, some people on the phone. I think let's take our first phone call. Hello. Hi. Hi. Who's this? Uh, this is Jessica. Jessica, where are you calling from? I'm from Dartmouth. Okay. What's your question? Um, I was just kind of wondering, uh, do you have any control over what happens to your character? Yeah, that's a good idea. There's a lot of involvement, isn't there, for you guys in the in the scripts? Um, you don't necessarily have control, but no. definitely when we get the scripts are written by the writers and they bring them to us and we all sit together, everyone who's in the script, and we read it over. And if there's something you really don't like, they'll often listen to what you're saying and go, well, yeah, maybe you go, no, the, my character wouldn't do that, or you have some mm -hmm. ideas. And they will listen if mm -hmm. we really get that way. Yeah, we have input, but we don't have total say. We can't yeah. say, no, I'm sorry, I'm Mr. Director, Mr. Producer. <laughs> right. Mr. Producer. Mrs. Yeah, Mr. Producer. we can't do that. Right. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's first of all show these books. Now, everyone that's calling in, we've already had one caller. Are you still there, Jessica? Jessica? Okay, she's oh. not. Anyway, uh, we'll let Jessica know uh, somehow that you win, uh, what, both of these books or one book? Each both of them, we're, to every caller today, okay. we're giving you a Lorimar book. Uh, I guess Lorimar has a book for each character in the show, is that uh, correct? Or is it a yet. selective character? Not selective character. Right, and these are the new books for Shane and for Melanie. Okay, yeah. well, we'll be giving all the callers a book. Let's take another call. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, who's this? Trisha. Okay, where are you calling from, Trisha? Chris Samson. Okay, have you got a question? Yes, about how many hours do you work a day? Mm. Well, mm. that really varies. A lot of the time, when we're called in for a scene, for example, called in at 7.30, and then we'll work, we may work till 12, or we may work till 6 at, six at night. Right. It depends. But a lot of the time, you're sure you have lunch, and you're often goofing off. You'll have scenes off, and, right. and mm -hmm. you're sitting around playing it, cards. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> not, it's not intensive work. It's not labor. Right. It's a different type of work. What about school? What happens to school during these, uh, just out of curiosity, during these days? Um, you miss some school. Right. But you always, I always seem to manage to catch up. Yeah. It's a little more stressful, but I work really well when I'm busy. Yeah, yeah I, I think another thing is that when you're not working and you're just going to school, you think, oh, I've got all the time in the world to work on it, so I'll just put it off, procrastinate, keep working. I'll do it later. Right. But when you're filming, you don't have the time because you know you have to work right. to catch up. Right. So then you're, I think you're more conscientious. Yeah. You, you want to get your studies done. Do you have any time for a social life at all during the <laughs> shooting? You know, just movies? You <laughs> have to always yeah. have a social yeah. life. Yeah. I, th I think life gets would get really tedious if it didn't, and uh, we all go out as a big group. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay, let's take another call. Hello. Hi. Hi, who's this? Cheryl Logan. Where are you calling from, Cheryl? Ski Harbor. All right, what's your question? Um, I was wondering, when you guys auditioned for Degrassi, were you guys really serious about acting? Or did you sort of go fall ahead, into so. it? Or? Go ahead, oh, <laughs> Thanks. Well, actually, my mom made me go down on oh. the last day. <laughs> on the last yeah. day, it was at 4 o'clock, and they start, stopped auditions at 4.30, so she made me go down on the last day. Yeah. And I auditioned. I didn't really care about it, because I didn't really thought about it. Yeah. And I never thought of the implications of a TV show, and I got on and went to workshops, and all of a sudden, I was on this TV show, and I never really thought about it. Right. 
thought of, wow, I see myself on TV <laughs> instead of seeing other people. Right. It's really weird. What I was you, the very you? opposite. I don't even think my parents knew. My mother thought it was a field trip permission form when she <laughs> signed the audition <laughs> form. Oh, no. And I went, and I, th I think we had to go to a meeting, so my mother sort of knew about it, but I don't think my dad knew, and they phoned up and said, oh, yeah, your daughter's got the part of Melanie, and my dad was like, what? Oh, like no. My parents didn't really know What do they think that. now? What do your parents think of the whole... I think they're really... They're, they're glad I did it, mm -hmm. I think. Do they worry at all? Do, your parents, do your parents get? I know parents have that sort of. Yeah, muscle my parents go, oh, oh you're going to fail school. I yeah. have to keep up my grades, otherwise they'd be like out of there. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, let's take uh, yet another caller. Hello. Hello. Hi. Who's this? Jennifer. Jennifer, where are you calling from? Jennifer. Okay. Uh, what's your question? Um, I'd like to ask if they hang around with people like after the show. Yeah. Do you hang around with these guys yeah, after? Yeah. We all go to movies and stuff after. We socialize. Are there, yeah. are there little cliques? Are there little groups? No, no. no you, you'd think that people attach to other people, but in general, no. We all, we all talk to each other. We all hang out. We all enjoy we each other's really company. We've become really close friends. We've all been working together for four years, and so you know everyone really well. Right. right. At, the, yeah. at their best and their worst. So yeah. We, we yeah. accept people. Right. Yeah. Are the hangouts the same now that the school has changed, or do you have a whole bunch of new local places, places. that you go after work? We never really have one place that we go. No. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's to a restaurant and then out to a movie, but depending. Right. Okay, one more call, I think. Let's, uh, let's go to the lines again. Hello? Hello there? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. You're on. Hi. Hi, who's this? Quincy. Where are you calling from? I'm Bedford. Okay. Um, do you like who your characters are? Do you like who your characters are? Hmm. Uh-oh, a lot of delay there. Uh, in I, I like my character. Yeah. He's, uh... He's a character that takes a lot of a lot of things on, a lot of serious roles, and it gives me a real stretch. It's not a character that goes through not doing not doing heavy things, but a